Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create these supplement containers using Adobe Photoshop to create the 3D objects and then you can place them in Adobe Dimension if you have that program. Just a preface here, if you already know how to use a 3D program feel free to skip this. This is intended for users who are most familiar with Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop and those interfaces. In the description below, I'll be posting a link to the working files, which are available by donation and help support my time in creating these tutorials and making the files available. Thanks in advance for your consideration. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this nutritional supplement container. In Illustrator, I have a reference. and I'll show you the pieces that I created using the rectangle tool or M on the keyboard. We want half the width of the container and switch that to a stroke with your direct selection white arrow. You're gonna round the corner and this one up top. Gonna unite these with this Pathfinder Unite button. And we're going to have to fine tune this corner a little bit, the radius. Next, I'm going to select the entire object and do a object path offset path with a negative two pixel offset. I'm going to go ahead and change the opacity and lock this layer with command two, we'll lock it. And with direct select, I'm going to remove some of these lines I don't need. With the direct selection tool again, A, I'm going to select both these points and use the alignment tools. Command J to join. And here at the top, I'm going to align those and join. Command J. Next, I'm going to swap the stroke and make that a fill. For the lid, I'm going to take the pen tool, P, and draw a line. Escape to end the pen tool. And let's do an offset, object path, offset path, minus two. I'm gonna take my scissors, C for cut, and cut apart the outer offset. And join command J, both of those endpoints and make that a fill. Another thing I'm going to do is give this a little bit of a border radius. Let's copy the main bottle. paste into Photoshop, paste as a shape layer, and in your 3D tab, make a 3D extrusion. From your preset menu, do the 360 bend, and I'm going to make this one pixel. If I look at the top view, I don't see any fragments or any holes. Let's take the lid, copy, and 
we can paste again as a shape layer, create the 3D extrusion, and the similar preset. Next, we're going to create the screw for the top of this container. To create the screw, I'm going to draw an ellipse with L or the ellipse tool. Make that a stroke and object path offset path minus two again. With both objects selected from the pathfinder menu, we want this last shape mode exclude and that creates the single ring object. To create the little screw indentions I'm going to draw a small ellipse and align that on four corners of the circle. Holding down Option. We can make a copy of those by selecting everything, holding down Option and dragging it over. Let's make that a compound path using the Unite Shape mode. Copy, Paste, Shape Layer, which helps retain the detail. We want 3D Extrusion, Create. This time we only need the depth, or you can type in the value and hit Enter. In the Properties panel, go to Coordinates. On the X angle, we want 90 so we can see the side view. And we can scale this proportionately by holding over the center and holding down Shift and dragging. To create the screw part, we're going to go to the deform property and you can move the twist left or right and as much as you'd like for the screw. In your Layers panel, you can select all of the layers and use these alignment tools at the top to help center everything. Select all three layers and go to 3D Merge 3D Layers And here is where in the 3D tab we want to rename each of our parts. You can also reorder these.
the layers. Using our secondary window, we can swap views and make sure that everything's getting aligned. You can place graphics directly on the container or if you'd like to make a separate label, I would just create a rectangle in 3D, create an extrusion, using this bend again. And I'm going to merge this with the supplement jar by selecting both layers. Merge 3D layers. And now I need to align When I select all the layers, I hit the V key just to make sure I can align these. And I want the label to barely be sticking off the jar. Next, I'm going to, with all of my layers merged, let's go to 3D, Export 3D Layer, Wavefront OBJ, and you can delete these textures that's saved out. All you really need is the OBJ. Now we can drag and drop the object into Adobe Dimension. If you tap F on the keyboard, you can frame it and bring it into view. And you're ready to start adding your textures and label or decal graphics. And it's telling me that we can link these textures. So if we want the screw and the bottle to stay the same colors, when we change one, it'll change the other material. Oftentimes Photoshop creates a seam area, so you may have to rotate the object. Either with the rotate tool or you can orbit around.
If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.